Earlier this week, Lewis Hamilton was denied entry to a royal box at Wimbledon. He had a ticket. He was denied entry because he wasn't dressed properly enough. That got me wondering, are ties even a thing now? He should have been wearing one that day. World designer Benny Castles joins me now in the studio. Benny, good morning. Good morning. Looking extraordinarily dapper. Thank you, as yourself. For the benefit of people on, on Radio Live at the moment, you have a kerchief, perfectly quaffed, would we say, in your pocket? I would say it's unperfectly quaffed, um, shoved. Which is, is perfect. A good, yeah, that's right. Perfectly. Elegantly dishevelled. Yes, say that. elegantly dishevelled kerchief. Um, a wonderful jacket with a waistcoat. A little uh, cardigan vest, it's winter. Cardigan vest, cardigan sorry. Vest. It was me yes. thinking it was a waistcoat. Yes, um, right. Tie, beautifully positioned with the collar tied down. Button down. What sort of hat is that? Um, this is just a fedora with a flipped up uh, lid at the front. Right, and then of course the glasses, which are quite... Are they, do you need glasses or are they an yes, affectation? Do. Yeah. Oh, you do. Because glasses and affectation are a thing now, aren't they? Well, I th- I, yeah, I mean, it's been interesting the amount of people who pop out the lenses or just put clear glass lenses. Mm-hmm. Um, but as soon as I started to wear glasses, what I realised is that people look at your face more than they do anything else on your body. We change our clothes every day, so I figured you should change your glasses every day. Mm, interesting. And expensive. Um, yes. Right, <laughs> Benny, let's talk ties. I am of the opinion that really the tie is sending a totally different message now than it used to. But we're still sort of holding on to some of that bastion of of sort of historic relevance that we've placed on the tie. I I agree with that, absolutely. And importantly, I think a lot of fashion does that. And a lot of fashion ties into what your expectations of seeing different people who wear that tie means. Corporate world has changed dramatically in the last probably five or ten years and, and, and the way businesses do business as well. And importantly, you know, uh, people in charge of, of, of corporate industries have also changed the way that they want to employ and the, mm, and the mm. people that they want in their employ. And the, the, the image that they want to set up, the mood Absolutely. that they want to create. Um, and and the, then transversely, of course, the yeah. point is is that the people who do want to wear the tie want to present that image. There sort of was a time, wasn't there, where for a man, if you were going to pay homage to any kind of an event, or if you were going to treat anything seriously or make a real effort, you had to have a tie on. That sure. just isn't true anymore, is it? No, I think you did right. And I think you see it a lot um, in the way people get married these days. Um, and the way people dress for a funeral. Um, Although that's an interesting one because Jim was just saying, you know, because he virtually never wears a tie and when he does, it's like torture for him. Um, but you were just saying, Jim, funerals and weddings and that's it. That'd be about the only time now, or maybe the odd live cross into six news if I. Oh, if well, I'm that's a whole that, other thing, you news, know. news. You know, I mean, but it, if you were sidelined for an All Blacks game, would you wear a tie? Used to, but not so much now, right? no. No, and uh, if you're in a cold climate, you often wear a scarf instead. So, yeah, um, you know, yeah. But it's weird, like a funeral. Like, like there the was a time when you just could not have turned up at a funeral without a tie, without causing offence. But now someone like Lewis Hamilton can turn up at Wimbledon looking really dapper, sure. which I would have thought was entirely appropriate, but be turned away because he doesn't have a tie on. Well, I think the English kind of love that, don't they? Mm. They love a good opportunity to turn someone away. So it's the sort of history. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And... and you know, I, I standing on ceremony. They love the ceremony and, and they love the history and the tradition of it. And I think the fun thing in New Zealand is that we haven't really got that much history or steeped in history, so we can break a lot of rules and rebuild them ourselves. Okay, our let's way. talk about a couple of other things, um, like black tie events. Sure. You will, I don't know how many you attend. I would imagine you Very attend few. quite a few. I attend as few as I possibly can. But boat. always those few people stand out that have decided to wear a bright yellow suit or a, a flashing bow tie, those people who are just desperate to stand out somewhere sure. in life because their normal lives are so damned humdrum. Um, what do you think of that? Is that sort of unnecessary showmanship? Sometimes, definitely. Uh, but at the same time, I'm of the opinion that, um, and obviously I get a chance to think about this a lot more than anyone else does. It's part of what it's we do. It's your thing. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but what I do believe is that I think people should be offered the ability and the and the opportunity to dress to their personality. And I think a lot of people don't. And I think a lot of people hide behind clothes, particularly people, me. Would, he, would most people even know how to do that? Because that's it's a lovely thing to think, let's dress to our personalities, but would, would most people be able to even articulate their personality? Well, I think a lot of people do struggle with that. And I think particularly if you put a man in a corporate environment or say at a black tie event, he just goes, oh, well, uh, suit oh, and tie. Oh, blend in here. Yeah, and just, yeah. you know, soak into the rest. But I think that is changing, particularly with men in New Zealand, because a lot of men are coming through and it's not it's not about young people it's not about young people owning fashion because i do believe that 
actually it's a more mature person who's got a more confident approach to their lifestyle, who's grown up and really understands themselves and goes, actually, I don't really care what people think. This is who I am. And that's this the thing, is how it's I dress. Conf- a lot of this comes down to confidence. 100%. All right, the other thing we were talking about yesterday is the genuine fashion trend, and we saw this at New York Fashion Week um, just a few, a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Days ago? A few ago. days ago. Um, <laughs> that now absolutely track shoes... Are, are the thing for men. More and more men are choosing to wear track track shoes or trainers or whatever with any style of clothing. Sure. it's I'm, To me, I look at it and it's appalling. And I, I only wear Converse, but they're a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. um, but to me, it looks appalling. Yeah, there's, um, you know, there's been a bit of a change uh, probably for quite some time. And probably, you, as we were talking earlier, um, talking about people that you can take that back to, there's a uh, um, uh, film director called Wes Anderson who mm-hmm. made the New Balance track running trainer very cool with a brown sort of flannel and corduroy suits. Um, and that had a real interesting sort of twist and, 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 and sort of, you know, pseudo nostalgic vintage sort of appeal to it. Um, but he made that quite cool. And I think it really does come down to the individual. You can, you can play with lots of different things and make it look good, but it's how you wear it off and how you carry it and if it looks true to your personality. Benny, just finally, um, one of the things that we touched on just before, you know, if you're a male in this country and you're reading a news bulletin, the expectation is you are wearing a tie. 100%. Is that just old-fashioned and silly? Not at all. I don't think so. I think, um, you know, uh, throughout an hour's news um, with Mr. McRoberts and, and Ms. Barry, you have a period of, of time throughout that hour where you're talking about interesting, funny things, mm. but you're also talking about really serious things that, that so still deserve you think respect. So still you need a tie Absolutely. to give reverence to a subject? Well, if I were back at school and I were getting told off, I'd want a tie. Mm. Really? If I was getting a slap, yeah. Yeah. I want a tie on the I intend to slap. do something terrible today. I should yeah. make sure I have a tie on. That's right. <laughs> Fantastic, Benny. Thank you very much for joining Pleasure. us. Thank the you. extraordinarily dappy, uh, dapper Benny Castles, world designer. Actually, Benny is one of the most dapper people in Auckland, wouldn't you say? Well, he's looking very dapper today, yes. Here's another one. Warren from the Fed Deli. Okay. Federal Deli. Warren, if you've ever been there, Warren is... Fed. Do you know Warren yeah. at the Federal Deli? He's got the thing. Lovely. And, um, and outside of Auckland, there's no dapper people.